Alright, show you guys how to make a rocket in Autodesk. So let's go over here to the top. Let's open up a new part. We're going to click on 2D Sketch. If you see my uh, cursor blinking, then it's important. That's what we want to click on. Click on Circle. Go to the middle. We're going to call this circle 0.75 inches. And we're going to hit Enter. Now, if it doesn't show 0.75, you can click over here, Dimension, and you can try to dimension it out if you want. And then what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and click on Finish Sketch over here. And then you're going to click on Extrude. Let's go ahead and extrude this 8 inches. Hit your check mark. All right, we're going to bring this over. Now, right over here on the side, what we're going to do, see all this highlights right here? If it turns red, we're going to right click on it. We're going to hit New Sketch. And then we're going to grab the circle and we're going to put another circle on here. This circle is going to be 0.65. Uh, let's call it 0.6 enter. Then we're going to go over here and finish our sketch. We're going to hit extrude. Now when we extrude and it goes the opposite direction, go down here where it says direction 2. And my fuselage was 8 inches. Let's subtract 1. So let's extrude this 7. And then when you do that and you look inside, you should see a hole in there, right? A little capped off. That'll hold the air in. Now what we're going to do is over here, see how this is highlighted on the side? We're going to right click on this, new sketch, and we're going to select rectangle. Now your rectangle is going to be halfway on, halfway off, just like that. You see that? Don't worry about the dimensions right now. Let's go ahead and finish sketch. Let's hit extrude. Let's extrude this. Oh, change the direction. Direction 2. Now, I'm going to extrude this um, 1.5 inches. This is going to be the height. This little inlet right here is going to be the height of our fin. Go ahead and hit the check mark. Now, over here, right here on this face, do you guys do that? That face right there? We're going to do a sketch on this face of that inlet. Let's see if we can do this. So right here, you're going to right click on that new sketch. Now if it moves way over to the side like this, what you're going to do, you're going to click on rectangle and you're going to put a rectangle over the rectangle just like that. See how it perfectly matches up? Then you're going to finish sketch and then you're going to select extrude and then that fin will pop out. I'm going to keep mine at one inch and we're going to hit the green check mark. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to do a we're going to pattern this. It's kind of like a copy and paste. Circular pattern. Click it. This isn't easy. We're going to click what we want to pattern. We want to pattern our fin so we're going to select it. See it's red. Then we're going to come over here to Rotation Axis. And then we're going to select, the, the, see how like we select the bottom right here? See how everything's red? Select it. How many fins do you want? Well, I want three. I wouldn't do more than six. Hit OK. Now we got our fins. Now we're going to put a little design on our fin. All right? So where it's red, right click, New Sketch. All right, so let's put our let's pick the line feature, and we're gonna cut something out of our fin. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go. Let's see. We want our fin. We kind of want a triangle. I want a triangle design. So I'm gonna come over here, and I'm just gonna draw a line across. Now we're gonna try to extrude this here, this top part. Let's see if it works. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. So we want to switch directions. 
through, sometimes you might have to go through all. Now we want to pattern this fin that I made. Okay, I guess you could do it on each one, draw it out, but if you click circular, now watch this right here. Do you see, we just want that part patterned. See that little part? Select it. Select rotation axis. We have three fins. And then, you know, you should have three fins like that, and they should have a little triangle pattern. Then what we're going to do, the final stage, is we're going to do our cone. So over here, on the top, right click, new sketch. I want you to put a circle on here, match it up. Remember, this circle was 0.75, so we can just type that in. Okay, now this part gets hard. We're going to finish sketch. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go over here where it says plane. We're going to offset from plane, offset. Now if we select this, it's just a little, we can click on this and drag this up. Now if you want to type it in, you can. My cone is going to be two and a half inches. Now if you look at this work plane, the only way you can work on it is if you right click on the edge and select new sketch. And what we're going to do, I'm going to change, put this to the side, you can see this. I'm going to grab the circle, I'm going to put the tip of the cone right here, super small. And then you're going to finish sketch, you're going to select loft, and then you're going to select the top of the cone, and then you're going to select this baby circle right here, and then you're going to hit OK. Now, you are done, but you want to get rid of this work plane. So over here, right over here on this work plane, right click, visibility, and then go ahead and color it up. Pick a color. Um, no, not the default. We'll go blue. And then show it to Mr. H. You can give me a little orbit if you want, and then uh, you will be finished. Congratulations. You just finished your Autodesk 3D rocket. Well done.